In this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose a mass airflow sensor. Now what the mass airflow sensor does, it actually senses the airflow going into the engine. Somewhere between the air filter and the throttle body is where it's gonna be mounted, normally closer to the air filter. Inside the sensor, those little bars right there is what is sensing the airflow, and sometimes those get dirty. The reason they get dirty is because you're not changing your air filter soon enough, so make sure you change your air filter regularly. You can try to clean the sensor with some mass airflow sensor cleaner. Hopefully that works for you, but normally if it's gotten to the point where it's dirty enough, it probably needs to be replaced. Now we want to check our fuses. The first thing we do under the hood, just take your test light, make sure your test light works have this side on the negative, and we'll go in and test the fuses. Now, if you can find a wire diagram that um, works for your vehicle and figure out which fuse works for the mass airflow sensor, then um, that's the fuse you definitely want to check, but it's always a good idea to check all the fuses. You always want to check the connector on the sensor and the wires. You can wiggle test the wires, make sure they're not loose or anything. It would be great to have the vehicle running and have a scan tool with a line graph and wiggle the wires while you're watching that graph and see if you get a spike or anything. All right, with the engine idle, it is idling about 600 RPM right now. Um, this is what a normal mass airflow sensor looks like on a uh, line graph. It's going up and down. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit. But you, you see it's not fluctuating too much if you're looking at the numbers. Um, if you saw a sudden spike, but the engine RPM wasn't moving, then you know that there's something going on with that mass airflow sensor. So this is what a bad mass airflow sensor would look like that basically has an open circuit while the engine's running, and it's running about seven or 800 RPM, and it's not moving at all, it's just flatlined. Now we want to test the power wire on this vehicle. The pink wire is the power wire, the black and white wire is the ground wire, and the yellow wire is the signal wire. Um, these other two wires are for the intake air temp sensor, so we're not worried about those two. Um, now I don't want to just take my test light and just shove it down in there because I might end up spreading the terminals and stuff. So what I want to do is just take this little cover off. If you can get under here, just slide under here, take this off. And then you can access the terminals better and test that wire. And that's good, light is on. You could wiggle the wire while you're using the test light right there. But that's good, we know there's power going to that circuit. And now we can check the ground circuit, which is the black and white wire. Now you can use an ohmmeter and check the resistance to the ground circuit and just make sure that it's less than five ohms, which it is, which is good. I like to test it with a test light personally, but uh, a meter will work. When you're testing that, you want the other lead of your meter to be attached to a ground. And then we're gonna check Go back to um, DC voltage. We're gonna check the signal wire. That's the yellow wire. The other lead is on the ground. And just lightly touch that and it's five volts. It should be between 4.8 volts and 5.2 volts, which it is, so we're good. So the next step to uh, test the signal circuit would be is if you had a signal generator. Uh, most people aren't gonna have this at home, but um, for the most part, we have good power, we have good ground, and we did have that signal from the PCM. Um, so generally, this is gonna indicate that the mass airflow sensor is bad. Um, a lot of times, though, the wiring gets pretty frail internally and could cause an issue. So pull those wires back and just take a good look at them and wiggle them around a lot and just make sure you don't have a problem there. You can put this cover back on. Put a new mass airflow sensor in and you're good to go. So I hope this video helps you out in understanding how to test a mass airflow sensor circuit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.
Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.